Hello everybody and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. DS. In the last episode we got started here in the Mushroom Kingdom in world number one and we almost made it to the end but not quite. In today's episode we're going to not save and we're going to go into world 1A which is I think the only optional level in this entire world and it's a beach level question mark? Or is it an underwater level? It's an underwater level, that's wonderful. Um. I think there is a place here to go get the uh, the blue shell if you want to. So we can, in theory, go back if we get that to the mini castle and unlock the secret exit there. And seeing as how we've got a lot of time in today's episode, because the worthwhile thing we're going to do is the first, like, big castle. And there's no way we're not doing that, like, whatever happens. So... I'm going to probably, if I get the blue shell, um, go back to the to the mini castle to actually show you guys the, the exit there. And this level is not very long, and I'm very sorry about like having a very clicky controller. <laughs> I have to spam the buttons, so uh, yeah, that's uh, going to be a little bit annoying there for you guys. But hey, if you don't want to listen, you can just fuck off. Please don't, I'm, I'm lonely. Um... I'm gonna be lonely either way because this is pre-recorded. It's not like you guys can actually talk to me. It's not a live stream. I do want a live stream today as I'm recording this. I still have to finish Kingdom Hearts uh, 3 Remind. Well, I've finished Remind. I haven't finished uh, the Limit Cup episode yet. And there's apparently also a secret episode which I have to finish. And we got the thing. Uh, now we just have to not die. And you can tell I can swim a lot quicker the moment I pick that up. Uh, I'm not gonna take any risks. Uh, if I can... This better give me not a fucking blue shell. God damn it! <laughs> so, uh, it looks like we're not uh, doing the blue shell thing today. That just had to happen, didn't it? Is there oh, that's the wrong button. Is there a button that allows me to, like, drop the item without using the touchscreen? Because obviously, um, on a normal DS, it's fairly easily done uh, pressing down on the touchscreen. On an emulator, that's actually kind of an issue. I would like there to be a button to do that. I mean, I'll just do it right now. But in a high-stress situation, that's actually fairly difficult to do. <laughs> because there was no time for me there to actually press the touchscreen. Like, at all. So, I guess I'll just keep my cursor on that general area of the screen. And... I mean, we can go into an item house here, and we have an anti-item slot anyway, so... We might as well. If it's a blue shell, we can still do it. I very much doubt it, but it's possible. It's fire flower. It's probably the most useless item you can get out of the item house. Scrap that. That's definitely the most useless. I think you can also get a, a mushroom, actually, which is even more useless. <laughs> so it's not the most useless, but it, it's up there as far as uselessness goes. It, so it's down there, as far as usefulness goes? I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So this is the first uh, castle. We're going to beat the fuck out of Bowser here. And this is not going to be that difficult. Because again, it's it's still world number one. You, you need to realize it's an easy game. And it's an easy part of an easy game. And oh my god, I almost died there. <laughs> no, I didn't. And the moment I start recording the second episode, uh, in the recording session, I get a message. I figured I can record some stuff. I mean, it's gonna be 10 minutes uh, before the end of this episode, so... Uh, but I am doing this, like, during work hours, technically speaking, which I probably shouldn't be doing. But I wanted to record this before... Um, before the time I would usually like to start live streaming, so that I can actually start live streaming and record this today. Uh, so, yeah, and I wasn't expecting to get any more messages today because I finished all my work. So those things might literally be me getting um, me getting paid 
and uh, saying thank you, see you tomorrow. <laughs> As a matter of fact, very likely that that's actually those. Uh, I'm seeing two messages. Very likely that that's, that's the two messages. Uh, but it always like stresses me out when I see I've got messages, but I can't respond to them, especially if they're like work related, right? Because I don't want to keep people waiting. I mean, I always like when I have a fire flower to just kill Bowser with the fire flower, even though there is a button there that literally just kills Bowser. <laughs> Can you even use the Fire Flower in the- wow, voice crack. Can you even use the Fire Flower in the original Super Mario Brothers to kill Bowser? In like, the NES version of the game? You must. I own that game, I own the console. I, pro I could just try. But that would require me to actually like, go get the console and the cartridge and set it up and all that good stuff and... I obviously don't have a CTR TV, so I need to convert it to HDMI, which I actually can do with my capture card. Uh, the upscaling isn't perfect, but honestly, as far as, like, upscaling goes, it's pretty decent. Because if you just, like, upscaling from, I don't know what resolution it exactly is, I think it's, like, 240p, pretty much, right? To 1080p and going from an uh, analog to digital, usually you get a lot of artifacting. The Elgato game capture I have actually does a pretty good job at that. Not as much uh, as like a frame mice or anything, but a frame mice is also like $500 and it only upscales and it doesn't do anything else. This uh, converts the signal and lets you uh, record it as well. So I think I know um, what I'd prefer. I, I'd prefer to have both, obviously. I'd prefer to have a Frame Meister hooked into my Elgato, but that gets close to like a $1,000 setup if you also include the price of the console itself, which is getting a little bit ridiculous for making YouTube videos. And I don't even think I've ever used the game capture for a video on um, my NES or my SNES. I don't think I have, <laughs> which is a little bit sad because I bought those to like make actually like authentic content and when I play a game for like in retrospect or something, I can actually play it on the original hardware and I have no input delay that comes from emulation and that kind of stuff. So getting most authentic experience possible and then I never fucking did that. So I've got like two consoles, which are both older than me, which I never use. <laughs> And I'm just gathering dust at this point. But it's also it's also kind of a collection thing because I still do want a N64 and a GameCube as well. Uh, because if I have those two, I'll have all the... Do I need to fireflower you to steal your cloud? I think I might. Um, I'll have at least all the Nintendo consoles up until the Nintendo Wii, which... Um, I can just hear you say, why don't you buy a Nintendo Switch instead, instead, <laughs> uh, instead, instead, yeah. Instead of those old consoles to complete your collection, you'd better, like, buy a... I'm not buying either, because I'm broke <laughs> and I'm cheap. So, uh, I'm not buying either at the moment, but if I were to buy any, like, Nintendo console at all, it probably would be a Switch before anything else. And the Wii U would be literally the last thing I buy, because... Again, if you own a Switch, you own a Wii U. I think literally every game that was released, at least literally every Nintendo game, which are the only one that are worth like your time at all, uh, that were released on a Nintendo uh, Wii U. It even sounds weird, right? The Nintendo Wii U uh, are also ported to the Switch now. So there's no reason in owning a Wii U other than novelty. And I would like to own a Wii U someday, just to say I own all the Nintendo consoles. I mean, I also, um, I don't think I own a PlayStation 1 anymore, but I own a PlayStation 2, uh, and a PlayStation 3, and a PlayStation 4, and a PlayStation 4 Pro. The normal PlayStation 4 doesn't work anymore. Uh, the HDMI uh, signal just doesn't get through. It, it works with the uh, component output. It just doesn't work with the HDMI, the connector is broken. And then I gave my hard drive that was in it to a friend because his hard drive in his PlayStation 4 failed. So I was like, I'm not going to use this anymore. Uh, I tried to sell it and then the boy was like, yeah, I'd like my money back because this doesn't work. And then I'm like, okay, I got the PlayStation back because if you're going to get your money back, I want my product back. Uh, which, there was no problem at all. That was just like 
kind of fair, right? So I still have a PlayStation 4 without a hard drive. If I put another hard drive in it, it'll work, but not with the HDMI connector, uh, which that's a lot harder to replace. A hard drive is literally like two screws. Um, the HDMI connector is, I think, soldered onto the board. So it's a lot harder to to um, to replace. And then there's also the fact that uh, you can easily like unscrew. Okay, I'm gonna have to be a little bit quick about things here. Um, you can just unscrew uh, the plastic coverings for the... Um, fuck. Can I do that again? I can't. That sucks. <laughs> um, for the hard drive, or... You can even place an SSD in there, right? A lot of people have done that, and it does wonders for your PlayStation 4, because... Man, do PlayStation 4 games oftentimes have long load times. And I'm honestly thinking about maybe doing that for my PlayStation 4 Pro at some point as well, because... Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't have a lot of loading screens, but for the 1.5 plus 2.5 uh, remix package... It's a lot better on PlayStation 4 than it was on 3, but it still takes a while to load um, the game, like loading screens, and there's quite a lot of loading screens as well. Man, I fucking... There's a there's a secret exit there, right? I'm going to try one more time and then I'm just going to stop. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, I've got a PlayStation 4 here that uh, won't turn on at the moment. But in theory, the hardware that's in it, like for 99% works. Uh, but I have a PlayStation 4 Pro that I actually use for like... Uh, just playing games and live streaming. So... I'd only need a PlayStation 1 and a PlayStation 5 when that's released uh, to make that collection complete. And I have none of the Xboxes and I'd like to keep it that way. And I have none of the Sega consoles because they haven't made a console in like 20 years. And that's an optional level which gets you to a war pipe which actually gets you to the end of the world. Uh, but there's also a secret exit and a normal exit in the secret exit. It's a difficult thing to get through. So I'm going to uh, speed run through this level as well and then end of this episode so that I can finally check the message and see if it's anything important or if I can record a third episode back to back as well. Because I'd like to record three or four episodes today. Let's see how quickly we can get through this level. We got through fairly quickly. I think just messing with that uh, rising water there took about as long as uh, the rest of the level did. <laughs> That being said, we didn't actually like go through the entirety of the level because we still miss our uh, one star coin. Also, yeah, I, I scratched my chin because it was itchy, but I didn't want to let go of the button. There's, there's kind of little things that are a little bit weird maybe sometimes. Yeah, I didn't remember you had to do that. Um, I do that all the time, but now that I'm, when I'm on camera, I am a lot more like conscious of those things. Like... The way I sometimes scratch my right ear with my left hand when my right hand is busy with, like, playing the game. And my left hand isn't needed. I'll just use my left hand. But instead of doing this, I do this. And it's really weird. <laughs> but those things, I, I just don't really think about. Uh, but when, when I'm on camera, I'm like, yeah, people can see that. And that's weird. That's weird. I, I won't stop doing it. Probably. I mean, I might. I do make an effort to, like, not do those kinds of weird things on camera. Not because I think people are bothered by it, because if you're bothered by that kind of thing, you have... personal issues. Because why would you be bothered by somebody scratching their ear in a weird way? That, that probably reflects on your, like, your own insecurities to a great extent. Um, but all things considered, right? I just try to not do those kind of things uh, too much on camera. I do end up doing them all the time, like scratching my chin when I, it's itchy, because obviously you do that. Normal people would just do this. I want to keep playing the game, and I need to keep pressing the run button, and also keep pressing the non-run button, which is the the directional pad. That's the, that's the thing I I want to talk about. Um, that. But that means I have to use both hands, which means I have no hands left to, like, 
itch myself or scratch myself. I don't understand why people... It, it's probably like a... a just like... A, a thing... I don't know what the word for it is, but it's a thing that's technically not right in the language, but people use anyway. Um, there is a proper word for it, which I don't know, ironically enough. Um, to itch yourself, that, that's not right, you scratch yourself. You scratch yourself when you feel an itch. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we might talk a little bit more about that while we try to finish off world number two in New Marvels. Until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this. I'm just going to stop doing that outro at some point because I know in theory, like, it does actually help people, like, think about them having to like the video. I already have a subscribe animation at the beginning of the video, which I might not have that for this series because I don't have any room in the overlay for that, <laughs> now that I think about it. So I might not include that in this series. Um, so I don't really need to say it, do I? So I might just make an animation, just change the animation for the subscription to also include um, liking or something like that. I don't know. See you guys next time. Bye.